Hey folks, Jonathan here. I want to welcome you to day three, week one of 21 Days of Prayer. It's great having you. We're going to dive in and talk a little bit about the harvest. Now, I want to start this by uh, starting with the words that Jesus said in Matthew 9, verse 37. Jesus says this, the harvest is great, but the workers are few. So pray to the Lord who is in charge of the harvest and ask him to send more workers into his fields. Now I was reading in Proverbs, Proverbs 10, and uh, you know, Proverbs is written thousands of years before Christ. And this is what it says. It says, a wise youth harvests in the summer, but the one who sleeps during harvest is a disgrace. So I began to think like, the one thing we've been told by Christ is that the harvest is big, it's plentiful, right? But it's the workers that are few. So he's saying it's harvesting season. Now we're in it, but it's the laborers that we need. So the question is, is if Proverbs, which was written thousands of years before Jesus, says that those who sleep during harvest are disgraced, something should encourage us to say, you know what? Am I working the harvest or am I just sleeping and watching others do it? And I know that's a little challenging, but I pray that that's your prayer today. Um, am I making a difference in the community around me? Am I making a difference with the one or two people around me? And am I making an effort to go into this place with people to make a difference? People are willing, people are hungry. It's about showing them the true love and life of Christ through your life, and it's your willingness, it's your heart for them that they're going to notice. So I pray you take some time today, seek the Lord and say, God, am I working this harvest? Am I doing and living the life you intended? Or am I just a spectator? It's a challenging question, but I'm telling you fulfillment is in that. So let's pray together this prayer. Father, I thank you so much, Lord, that you're already working and moving in hearts all around us, but you're looking for willing, humble hearts, people that are willing to take your message and your life and love and bring it outside of the walls of the church. I pray that we would be a people that would listen to your words. And God, we ask also for more workers more people, Lord, that you would bring into this uh, amazing revelation of hope and peace and life found in Christ. Lord, I just pray that you would bring these workers in, that they would spread the love of Jesus everywhere they go. Cause us to be effective in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoy your day today, and I hope that you continue to pray throughout the day. Now, if you liked it, make sure that you share this with somebody that maybe you think could hear these words today. Also want to see you tonight at each of our campuses. We will be having our 21 days of prayer, nights of worship and prayer. So it's going to be a great time for more details, location times, all of that information. Go to newpoint.org. Uh, those times will be listed there. Appreciate you joining us today.